guys welcome back to fanny for the soul this is a ukulele and uh, i am no uh, musician means i cannot play this instrument but i have i'm showing this off to get you into the mood uh, for good music uh, this uh, i'm going to show you a lovely interview with uh, no less than lu majao the you know popular pop rocker from northeast india so 14th of april was lu's 75th birthday this year and uh, i was lucky to you know travel all the way from goa to uh, shillong to uh, be there for uh, lu's birthday so this interview took place in his uh, home in shillong and uh, my wife and i were lucky to attend uh, the concert the birthday concert the same evening uh, at the evening club in shillong so sit back and enjoy the lu interview so uh, i am uh, we are going to lu majao's home uh, to interview him it's his 75th birthday today and i am i am going with don who's driving our uh, taxi and don is a young uh, you know um, well he he is a dancer also a taxi driver and you know he he is born and brought up in um, shillong so don uh, you have heard uh, uh, lu singing I've heard him. Yes. Uh, I've heard him yeah. since I was a kid. Yeah. But I don't know how much age. Yeah. Uh. So I used to saw him in TV. Yeah. Uh, not in a life. Yeah. So only that, not yeah. that much. Yeah. But uh, you like you do you like uh, loose music? Uh, actually, I like, but I haven't heard all. Mm. I can't say that much because I haven't heard all his. so yeah. so uh you know uh, lu a uh, lot of people know lu in uh, uh, in in uh, shillong so don what do you think about lu as a person i think is a is a good person is a from from my thoughts i i think is a is a good person is a simple living person simple living uh, like like a song hmm. simple like a song simple, what is there i'm sorry <laughs> nice uh, but that's it like yeah the way he sing it's uh, like a simple song singing yeah, yeah. i can't say uh, more than that yeah so here i am i'm going into lu the lu maja foundation in shillong that's where lu i'm meeting lu for an interview so we are in Lu Majao's den, as you can see. <laughs> This is his. Aye, aye, aye. So, so first and foremost, happy, happy birthday, Lu, seventy-five uh, years young today. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> so, like your, like your uh, favorite song, "Forever Young." How are you feeling today? Feeling good and alive and blessed. wonderful 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 lu so nice to come all the way from goa to shillong and meet you in your you know home so i wanted to you know for the benefit of the audience i wanted to ask ask you the first question about your childhood you know when you were in that sacred heart boarding school yeah just uh, about 10 15, 15 minutes walk from here correct because uh, i come from a very very poor family hmm. where uh, words like uh, breakfast lunch and dinner they just empty words on an on a empty table hmm. so my mother she yeah, she put me in that body it is some kind of an orphanage anyway so that's how I spend my correct yeah, correct child to classics Okay. I I know that in the boarding you had one guitar in that school you know primary school and you used to skip your dinner uh, many times to spend time with the guitar. With the guitar. Yeah. I know. So please tell me about that uh, you know uh, your love affair with the guitar. See, because the first time when I saw the guitar, I mean you can say it's love at first sight because you know it, it's such it's such a, a beautiful sight to see and. And then when I touch it, when when I took it, I'll move to um, Kolkata or Calcutta. Calcutta. And when you went to Calcutta as a young teenager, 
um, you know, you had a very tough time because you, I remember uh, you even had to wash cars for a living, you know, just to, for two square meals or one square meal. One square, how, one square one meal, square I know. Meal. How, how, how difficult was that period, you know, and how did you keep yourself positive in the mind? See, because, you know, it, it's a love of, you know, of music. So, for me, hey, I mean, uh, this is, you know, a new place altogether. So, you know, I feel welcome. That, that's the thing about Calcutta. It, it, it's a very welcoming city. Hmm. And the place is, you know, it, it's good. The people are good. And so that's it. So, I, I uh, you know, I get the feeling that, you know, yeah, my roots are here. Hmm. So, with, with all the colors flashing everywhere, and then there was music, you know, from, you know, uh, bars and restaurants and, nightclubs and everything like that, so that was simply fantastic. But the hard life was was a part of it. And I worked as a laborer also in some houses and then I even worked as a laborer in St. Mary's Church in Ripon Street and uh, it's still there now. So whenever I go to Calcutta, I go to St. Mary's Church. Yeah, to pay obeisance. Yeah, to pray, pray. You know, be with the Creator. Yeah. And give your thanks or your gratitude. Yes. Wonderful, wonderful. I'll move to Trinkas. You know, I, we were in uh, uh, Calcutta recently, okay. and I saw I saw Trinkas on Park Street. So uh, Trinkas is where you uh, were able to become a solo artist for the first time. Yes. You know. Yes. So so tell us about that experience because that was the time you actually you know played the guitar and sang. Yes. Uh, as a, as a as a solo artist, individual performer. Yeah. So that was a, a meaningful experience, mm. and it, you know, it, it, you know, it taught me so much, you know, about the you know, the art of uh, entertainment. Let's put it that way, because when lots of people they come to to have the dinner, they come to have few drinks, and you know, they come the friends, lovers, and families. It's it, it's a it's a good scene. I mean, like it, it's so great. See, because drinkers do see us. It's like uh, you know, maybe it is it's like a tavern in England or something like that, mm-hmm. where you know, people from all over India they, they come to drinkers. Wow. Uh, even people from Madras, then uh, from Bombay, from from Goa, from Delhi, from everywhere. Wonderful. So, uh, uh, they come. Like uh, we have guys like uh, Bidu Apaya. Yeah. He had, he, had, he had come with a band called the Trojans. Okay. And then from the Trojans, when they split up, he became the lone Trojan. And then from the lone Trojan, this Bidu, Bidu Apaya. So yeah. then later on, he went to England and Fantastic. He for himself. Fantastic. What lovely memories. <laughs> meaningful memories. Meaningful memories and, and beautiful memories. But that is one thing about the character. Lou, tell us about, uh, you know, um, the formation of Great Society, your first band, you know, which you started. So, Bert was on the drums yes. and Arjun uh, Sen was on the guitar, on bass, yeah, guitar. On bass guitar. And and you all, uh, from what I remember, you went, you had an excellent tour of Mizoram. Yes. And tell us about that Mizoram tour. Okay. <laughs> I see, actually, Great Society was, was not the first uh, band that uh, I was, in Kalsa, I was with this band also called The Oracle Bones. And then Great Society was another, another band in Shillong, which uh, started with Bert Cooper, late Bert Cooper. So he was playing drums. Then I came across uh, Arjun Sen, and finally I called him AJ. He is a you know, fantastic a human being and also a fantastic musician, guitar player. And now he is a composer. So we went for that tour to Mizoram from. Uh, starting from Aizal hmm. to uh, Lungle and as far as Champai near the Burma border. Wow. I mean, like, it was simply fantastic. I mean, like, you know, the, the sheer joy to be on the road. And we reached those areas and we, had, we, we performed about two, three performances. And in Aizal itself, we had uh, an outdoor, it was uh, that uh, Assam Rifle Spiel or something like that. So it, it, was, it was great. It was fun and all that. This was in the early 70s. Yes. Early 70s. No, 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 not, not early 70s. I think... 1980. Uh, 
something like that because I mean 1780 like, yeah okay. if, I, if I remember yeah, yeah. 1780 wonderful yeah now now coming to you know Bob Dylan you know you you heard Bob Dylan I think first time in 1965 and uh, yeah in Calcutta and the song you heard was uh, blowing in the wind yes. and and it blew your mind like you have said I mean, and like a, it, it opened I mean like you know the door and windows and you know, the entire world because after listening to s s different kind of uh, singers you know but then I heard that voice with that with, with that question, how many roads must a man walk down? So, such a simple, but yet, you know, the depth of it is unfathomable. So, that's what got me into that. I said, hey, this man, I, 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 I never heard of him before, I never knew. This, from that song only, then I said, hey, this is the man. Wonderful. Uh, uh, my my uh, complimentary question really, Lou, is, um, what does Bob Dylan mean to the world of music, you know? Uh, how big has his impact been? See, like he, he started, I guess, like everyone. But then it is, you know, his writing. Yeah. You see, because uh, Bob Dylan, he, he's not just a singer or a songwriter. He is a lyricist. And his writing, I mean, like, I mean, like, it's, it's something which, which everyone feels but it's so hard and for uh, for and for everyone to to speak out to scream out loud mm -hmm. but he brought all that magic mm -hmm. to lots and lots of people and especially to the Mujah. wonderful so the, those early years in, in 60s i mean like in india nobody knows about him even in the 70s you know it's only recently that you know uh, you know, if everyone is talking about uh, Bob Dylan because of that uh, Nobel Prize or something like that. But then he should have got that way back, way back, right from the 70s, 80s, because his writing was so meaningful. Yeah, you. I, I remember in one interview you had told me uh, that you know, if the if the world's leaders had li uh, listened to Bob Dylan, I mean, there'd be no war. Uh, that, 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 uh, there won't be any greed. Any we don't have to go, I mean, to, uh, to the moon, to Mars, to other planets. We have got a beautiful world over here. So we have to uh, respect our world by keeping it clean. There is nothing like a healthy planet. A healthy planet is, it should be a clean planet. Correct. So Correct. That point. Clean and peaceful planet. That's it. Then definitely there will be peace. Because, you see, uh, if the environment is clean, then the, the mindset of the people also will be clean. Right. Absolutely. Now, now uh, Lou is also an avid gardener. He loves to work in his garden. So, he's, you know, Lou is going to show us a bit of his garden that's there. <laughs> or plants and uh, stuff like that because, yeah. I mean, like, uh, we still have to do it. And, and this is, this is uh, like the song says. Yeah. There's parsley. Yeah. Parsley, sage. Yeah. Rosemary. Yeah. And thyme. Oh wow. So it's, it's uh, this is a song. <laughs> parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme. <laughs> Lovely. Uh, I uh, I was a farmer for uh, for a couple of years. Okay. Uh, because um, I want to. To find out, I want to know where the food that I eat came from. Mm. So the answer is to be a farmer. So I was a farmer for a couple of years. That's right. And uh, was that there, there was some Kathmandu link in that? No. Where uh, when you did some farming? No, no. Uh, I was in Kathmandu. From there, you know, it hit me mm. while I was having having food. I was in Swambu. So while having food, it, 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 where did this food come from? Mm. I ask that question. Mm. Then I look at the fields. And that's where. That, that, that's the time I decided. So when I came back to Shillong, I, I, you know, I joined my grandparents to be a farmer. And I loved it. Nice, nice. Nice, nice. 
Nice. So, how much time do you get to spend, uh, uh, you know, um, pottering around and working on your garden? Bryce Bryce do the entire morning, I don't know, rituals kind of stuff like that. Yeah. Then I started you know, weeding, taking care of this, this plant. Hey, what's happening? Hmm. Oh, you're smiling today. Hey, that's good. I'll, I'll give you food uh, <laughs> just before sunset. <laughs> and I do these are all the chilies which uh, came from Nagaland. So this is a small nursery. Oh, so this is this is chili from Nagaland? Yeah, from Nagaland. Oh, nice. So once they become a little bit bigger, hmm. then I'll have to. I take them to a bigger place. Yeah. So this is where this is, uh, this is your my paradise. Oh wow! So this is this is where you uh, you know you practice and you uh, re rehearse and, and every day you know I play guitar because I'm learning how to play guitar. I've been I've been learning for the past uh, 54, 55 years, <laughs> and I'm still learning every day. <laughs> and I love, I love playing the guitar. <laughs> so, so learning doesn't stop and doesn't end, no, Lou. Yeah, you you might be a performer, but you yeah. might be any anyone. See, because there is a beginning, and the end is endless. And the end is endless. endless. <laughs> That's such a profound statement. Yeah. So there's always a beginning, yes, but the end is endless. So there your your journey, your journey end never ends. ends. Wow. <laughs> Fantastic. So maybe we'll see see what you have here. Oh, you got many, many instruments. Uh, this part yeah. I brought from uh, Israel. Wow. From Jerusalem. Beautiful instrument. I tried to, to play it, you know. I've been trying, but then somehow I, I could not get in the hang of it. Maybe the I heart. Not, uh, maybe I was not uh, hmm. bored with it. So I'm, I'm waiting for someone to be able to. Mm. And and that if your group comes here to practice, then they get to, um, you know, the, there's a whole, um, you know, the drum set yeah. and and multiple guitars. Yeah, bass guitar, then six string guitar, and yeah. oh wow! And, and, and if, if you want to to read some books, oh, you got a whole uh, Dylan Bob Dylan collection here. Uh, not, not many. Many, many books, yeah. <laughs> oh, a nice. little bit. And this is Bob Dylan calendar. Oh, nice. Bob Dylan's almanac, I think. Oh, nice. Brilliant. You know, uh, Lou, you have, um, you like to write your own songs, you know. And you have written your own, own songs uh, over the years. Um, why do you think it's important to, you know, write your own songs and sing your own songs? Because... It's your emotions. What what you have in your mind, what you have mm. in your soul. Mm. What do you see? Yeah. You know, with your eyes. Mm. What do you see with the eyes of your mind? Mm. How do you feel from your inner soul? So you share it with others. That's the only reason. Wonderful. Wonderful. So uh, we look forward to uh, seeing you uh, perform. <laughs> Sing some songs and perform tonight. Yeah, tonight at the evening club. At the friend. evening club, yeah. yeah. <laughs> From 9 p.m. Yes. Hopefully till early morning kind of stuff like that. <laughs> okay then. God bless, God bless you all. Yeah, yeah. Kubla. And, and remember my friend. Yes. To live life responsibly. God bless you with health and peace. Kublai. Kublai. <laughs>